There are so many parents who no longer need alarm clocks because their children wake them up early every single day. Now there's only a very small percentage of children who are true early birds. That means a child who gets up refreshed, ready to take on the day, and has a good day so they're getting ample sleep. If you have a true early bird, you might be able to buy yourself a little extra time of your own by leaving a box of toys or a bowl of dry Cheerios where your child can get to them for a little bit before he wakes you up. Most children, though, can sleep an hour or so longer if you can figure out what it is that's waking them up. So let's talk about a few things that can wake up these early birds. One is light the light that comes in through the windows or even under the door. So what you'll want to do is make sure the windows are covered with blinds or drapes or even a piece of cardboard so that no light comes in until you're ready for your child to get up for the day. Sounds can wake your child up. It might be a car sound from next door. It could be clinking going on in the kitchen or someone who's getting up and using a bathroom and getting ready for work. So any of those sounds that wake your child up can be covered up with white noise. And what you'll want to do is this. About an hour or so before your child normally gets up, so maybe 4.35 in the morning, have the white noise sounds come on automatically. And they're at a very low volume and they're very soothing, so they won't wake your child up, but they will cover up some of the sounds that wake your child that are coming from outside. The other thing to ask yourself is, is this really an early morning or is your child just waking up between sleep cycles? So instead of going in and saying, oh gosh, it's six o'clock, it's time to get up, pretend that it's 2 a.m. Act exactly the same way you do if your child gets up in the middle of the night. Keep it dark and hushed and quiet. Pat, rub, soothe, whatever you need to do and see if your child will go back to sleep. The other thing that can really help with an early bird is to pick a bedtime and stick to it seven days a week and pick an awake time and stick to that seven days a week. Then your child's biological clock is ticking along with the clock on the wall and you'll be able to tell exactly when he's going to bed and when he'll be up for the day. The other thing that you might be able to do, and you're going to have to get up early for a few days to do this, is put a chair outside your child's bedroom door and about a half an hour or so before he normally wakes up, sit there and read a book or relax and listen for any sounds of him waking up. The minute you hear a peep, go in there and soothe him back to sleep just like you would as if it were 2 a.m. You might rock, pat, massage, shush him. Just soothe him back to sleep, and he may go back to sleep for another hour or more, and then you can go back to sleep as well.